as I've mentioned before in my blog, uh, Mr. Wetzel and I like to drink milk from a local farm. We purchase raw milk um, and it comes in a jar just like this every week that we get from the farm. Uh, the milk is not homogenized or pasteurized. The cream itself will separate from the rest of the milk if you leave it in the fridge for overnight or at least eight hours. And typically I can get three, this probably has three to four cups of cream. So there's a lot of cream. One of my tools is a handy little screwdriver. I just keep it in the kitchen. Usually there's a little pot. And then, since I do want to get some heavy whipping cream in order to make um, whipped cream later, I'm going to try to scoop out some of the whipped cream a little more delicately and we'll show you how it's done. Now we are going to take the cream off the top of the milk um, and as you can see just putting the scoop in and being careful I get this nice rich cream and then I just scoop it into my jar and it comes pretty easy. The cream tends to kind of stick together and sometimes you'll find the very top of the cream even is a little clumpy which it means it's really creamy and rich um, and so the top cream is the best if you're planning on doing something like making whipped cream or another type of dessert or recipe that calls for real strict um, whip whipping cream, heavy whipping cream to be specific. And so now we have a pint of heavy whipping cream and I'll go ahead and put this in the fridge um, and save it for later and we'll make some whipped cream with it in a little while. So now we're just making half and half. Um, I'm getting the rest of the cream. I'm just going to add some milk in with it. As I get down to this part, um, there is, zoom in to see if you can and see it in this light. There's actually swirls that um, the cream makes in the top of the milk. So you can tell when you're getting down to the end of the cream. Um, and for me, because I like to get as much cream out as possible, I'll try to get as much of that as possible into the half and half jar. All right, so we're done making our half and half. And I'm just going to put the cap on my half and half and put this in the fridge too. So far we've made the heavy cream and we've also made some half and half, which might not be exactly half milk and half cream, but you get the idea. And you can see that we still have more than half a gallon of milk left in the jar. A lot of people don't think that they can drink through a gallon of milk, combination milk and cream in a week. But um, if you're ever concerned about that, you can make your own yogurt or your own sour cream. Um, there's also a lot of recipes out there for making your own cheese. I haven't had a chance to try any of the cheese recipes yet but I'm very anxious to because they look really good and really easy. Oftentimes you can get information on making your own cheeses um, from a local farm. I know Meadowood Farm, where we get our milk, they have monthly cheese making classes. Now we're down to near the end um, and I'm going to actually just pour the rest of the milk. I'm not exactly the smoothest person in the world, but at this point it usually doesn't make much of an impact. And there you have it. We've got uh, almost one and a half, half gallons full of milk to drink for the next week. We have our half and half and our cream in the fridge. I will also do a little bonus featurette. Um, we'll actually show you how to make whipped cream. It's really, really easy. I'm just going to get my cream out of the fridge. And I also have a metal bowl and the metal whisk attachment to my hand mixer. And I'm going to get that out of the freezer. I'll just keep these two items in the freezer to make it easier for me when I want to make whipped cream. But if you don't have that kind of forethought, just 10, 15 minutes until they get kind of frosty, that's good enough. I'm going to pour just a little bit of cream in the bowl because I don't need too much. And here we go. Prepare for the noise.
it gets to about this consistency, I uh, stop and check it, and if it makes peaks, that's about the, the consistency you want. If you beat it for too long, it'll turn into butter. Well, it will start that process, so you don't want to go too far. You want it to be just a little whipped. I'm going to go a little further. I'm not a cuisine expert, so I don't know, but I think I would like it a little, a little more than this. Just kind of use your best judgment. A lot of people like to do the whisking by hand uh, because they can slow down the process. I just prefer to use the hand mixer because my wrists get tired. Now we're going to make just a really simple Pacific Northwest local boar friendly fresh dessert. We're going to put some local cherries in a bowl and that adds that natural sweetness. And then we're just going to add the whipped cream right on top of them. And when you combine the natural sweetness of like local fruit that's fresh fruit in season with just straight whipped cream, no sweeteners added to the whipped cream, it has an amazing pow to it. So there you have your little Northwest friendly dessert and your instructional on how to make whipped cream. I hope you guys found some of this interesting, delicious, inspirational or whatnot. Um, if you have any ideas or questions, feel free to post me a message and enjoy.